Hello everybody, my name is Amelia and welcome to another Let's Play Animal Crossing video. In this episode it's day five on my new island Tintagel and I'm just going to run through the gameplay. And as you can see Tom Nook is still doing the announcements. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook, it's 12.23pm this happy Saturday October 15, 2022. Now for today's news. Tintinel gained a new neighbour today, Flora. I hope you give her lots of great advice about living here. That's all from me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. I'll explain my hair later. My phone is ringing. Hello, this is Timmy from Nook's Cranny. I've reached Amelia, right? I've sent a payment to your bank account for 23,544 bells for what you left in the Dropbox box. Thank you for using this service. I hope to see you in the shop soon. So I decided to change my hair because my husband thought I was playing with a male character and I was really offended so I changed my hair so I guess I've changed it just to get a reaction from him but he hasn't seen it yet so yeah I was really annoyed so I gave myself pigtails I'm far too old to be wearing pigtails but Song, cute chair. Oh, I've got pumpkins. I can't wait for my husband to see my new hair. Annoying. Oh, I've got three in each. That's because it rained. I don't get much variety in terms of colour, but that's okay. Go say hello to Flora. Oh, there's dodgy red. Yay! Well, well. You from around here? Hi, the name's Red. I work in sales, and you are Amelia. What a great name! Intelligent, strong. I can already tell you, we're going to be pals. Not, no, not pals. Family. He really is a sleaze ball, isn't he? <laughs> Amelia, it's a pleasure to meet you, Amelia. Hey, would you mind if I ran an idea by you? So Tintagel wants art, and I got art to sell. Might be something to this. But I couldn't sell to just anyone. I need someone I could trust completely, as if they were family. And since we're basically cousins, yeah, because we look so much alike, and because I know you've got an eye for quality, I want it to be you. Want to look at a few things? I've got both art and furniture, plus you'd get my cousin's discount, you in? Seems kind of sketchy. I love that, that's an option. <laughs> I'm hurt, there's nothing sketchy about this, I can prove it. I've got my boat anchored off the northern shore and I'm almost done fixing all the leaks. Long story. Come and have a look at what I'm selling, you won't regret it. <laughs> I love that you got an option to climb out in this BS. <laughs> I love red. Oh, I love it. I am going. I need to say hello to Flora first. I love the fact that he was offended. 
Let's say hello to my new friend. Oh, Rodeo is out on a snack run. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I've got a new bug. Let's say hello to my new bug. I had, I did consider her for my tropical, my tropical island actually. Amelia, it's just like you said, this place has such great vibes. I'm so glad I moved. Yay! I can tell this is where the universe wants me to be, you know. Good things are going to happen here. She lost me with the universe. I bet some of those good things are even going to happen to folks who aren't me. Oh. Once again, come visit. Come visit again once... I love her head nodding action, it's so funny. <laughs> Come visit again once I'm done cleaning up, okay? I shouldn't laugh, it's funny. The constant head nodding. So that was fun. Fun check. Looking built, little bear. What's up? Let's talk. Oh, I can give him a gift now. This weather really gets the muscles glistening, little bear. Really? I think this is the way. To the secret beach. So yeah, last night I did lots of weeding. So this should be weed free. I feel like I'm getting RSI in a certain thumb from playing this game. Constantly picking up weeds. Actually his boat looks less sketchy than what I first thought. He must have fixed it after all. I have noticed that there's definitely two items here that are definitely real and I have a funny feeling the first trip is real. Like they're all real. Fakes come later. So here's the pitch. Ready? At Jolly Red's treasure trawler we sell only the finest and the fakes. There's nothing finer than fine art and rare furniture, am I right? Of course, I can't let all these fine things just walk out the door. I gotta limit you to one piece of art per day. It's a hassle I know, but I hope the customs discount will make up for it. Plus, I'll let you buy all the furniture you want, no questions asked. So take a look around. I've got a mouse masterpieces by the great masters plus stuff for your master bedroom. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm tempted to get this or this. Decisions. I think I'm going to get the rockhead statue because I have a funny feeling that I'm probably not going to see another real one for quite some time. I won't lie, an awful lot of folks have been asking me about buying that rockhead statue there. Of course they have read. Because, you know, people are lining up to be on your dodgy trawler. But maybe the price scared them off. So I'll sell it to you for 4,980 bells. Deal of the fall. You win? Got a deal. And I'm definitely going to buy the barbecue. Like the best <laughs> dubstep albums, it's impossible to get enough of a barbecue. See? This is where you and I agree, because I'm Australian and I think you can't possibly have a good summer without a barbecue. Especially a weather, a little weather, because this is what it looks like. Wow, 
3,750 bells. I have a funny feeling this is like twice the price. I'll check. Of what you buy it in Nook's Cranny when it appears. Actually, it is a little more expensive. In Nook's Cranny, it sells for 2,500 bells. So he's put an extra 1,750. Yes, that's the right choice. I'll just get those bells from you. Of course you think it's a great choice. Yep, 3,750 bells. It's all there. Been a real pleasure doing business with you. You've got a real instinct for deals, you know that? I've lost count of how many folks come to me then walk off in tears when they can't get a deal they like. But you? You know when to pounce. I knew I was right about you, cousin. He says this to everyone. I'm a little offended. You won't regret it. <laughs> Yeah, only trustworthy people say that. I get points for talking to Red. I wonder if I get ripped off. I wonder if I get points for buying a fake. Because there is a um, a fake statue of David with books that I particularly love. <laughs> I think it's better than the original. I know it's terrible, but I just like the fact that it's got books. I feel like I can get behind that. Oh no. That's a bummer. I just lost... <laughs> Quite a bit of money. Anyway, I love these pigtails. They're quite cute. I mean, I know I'm far too old for them. Like, I'm ancient. But I realise there, there are older people, people who are older than me, playing Animal Crossing. But a lot of the other Animal Crossing YouTubers are like under 25. There's one that's about I think she's 30 but she looks to me she looks 25 but I don't. I'm like almost 40. I'm 40. No I'm not. I think I'm 41. Yeah I'm 41. Holy crap I didn't even notice that I had I mean I didn't notice I had a birthday but I know I'm a bit of an introvert. I don't particularly like big parties and crowds and stuff like that so I tend to not like celebrating but most importantly where am I going to put my barbecue I know this was supposed to be a medieval island but Contre gave me a utility pole yay are you out for a walk nope tinter gel is perfect size too big to see across but too small for a sea monster to attack. <laughs> wow, someone's a pessimist. <laughs> oh, I love him. <laughs> I chose him because he kind of looks like an ex executioner. I have realized that the type of island that I want to build is actually technically um a bit cottage core esque so this might be a little bit challenging. There's a whole bunch of things I can't have, I've realised, like anything modern. So I don't know, I think my island might become like elegant castle hall. So what am I gonna do? I'm tempted to make Halloween decorations. Because I've ticked off technically the thing I'm supposed to do today, which is talk to Red. So what Halloween decorations do I have? Not that I'm a big sort of... Oh, I can make these! Oh, they're so cute. I think the spooky arch is going to be a bit much. I could definitely make this sort of spooky tower and I could put one of these outside of everybody's house. Oh, I can only do either one of these per villager or... Yeah, I think I'm just going to do something nice for my villagers. I 
wonder if I should put this on the wall. Does it look like a KK fanboy? AKA Tom Nook. So I'm going to try and sell those and I'm going to make something out of these. Actually I don't need any other materials. What am I doing? So I'm going to do my house last, just in case I've forgotten about anybody, so I'd hate to do that. I think it's cute that it lights up. Although I suppose it's probably not supposed to be cute. Hmm. And there's still really little. Hey Amelia. Thanks for coming over to say hi. It's real cool that I made a new friend the same day I moved. So, um, I brought a present for you today. This makes us officially licensed friends now. Oh, yay! A brick oven that I made. Oh, this is a pizza oven. <gasps> making, <laughs> making those is kind of my secret skill. You know, they're great as decorations too. You can stick them anywhere. Oh, Rodeo, you have no idea. I love pizza and you just gave me a pizza oven. We're like best friends for life. I can't wait to have lots of nap times around here. Maybe the whole island could nap at once together. Wow. It'd be like night time, but it's some other weirder time. Like, um, man, any time. Any time is weird for this idea, huh? Yes, I'm glad you recognize that. Oh, this is cute. So put it here. Oh, it's a nice color too. Like he... Oh, and there's a pepperoni pizza inside. Oh my goodness. Sad that he totally made my day. And here's a awesome. I like this stage of the game because you just dig up fossils and there's no I think I'm the only one that doesn't have like gyroids. I think it's because I never played the other Animal Crossing games. This is my first. Sorry if you like gyroids. Some of them are super cute, but once you get like a million of them, it's just too much of a good thing. Spooky land with you. Thank you. 
Speaking Lantern to you. Hey, everyone has Speaking Lanterns. I can give the boys my spooky lantern. Apparently they have standards. Can't put anything there. So I am gonna decorate my own house. I wonder how many times I have to water them to get three again. I feel like I'm wearing the wrong outfit for this. I can need overalls. And it looks so weird just on the grass without the dark dirt path. Maybe I'll keep going until this breaks. So if I water it three times, does that mean I'm going to get three? Is this how this works? Because I never water produce. This is the first time I've ever watered produce on this game. <laughs> He's smelling the mums. It's so funny. There's a Mrs. Flamingo. I feel like I need a matching set. No, she's pretty pricey. I'm gonna sell. There's no good wallpaper. Because I paid off my mortgage last night. I'm gonna go see Tom Nook. Because I'm pretty sure he'll say something. Hello there, Amelia. Your home is much roomier, yes? It's nice to have even a little extra space, which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 198,000 bells. Hmm? Ah, yes. Please make your repayments using the Nook Stops ABD feature as you've done before. Before I break your kneecaps. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you yes yes 
have to admit, I do prefer Tom Nook to Isabel because he doesn't judge judge me. All he cares about is I pay him back. I'm gonna put these outside the store to make them look like they have like a little shipment. Let's see whether I can expand my pockets. in the sky. Maybe it'll be a music player of some sorts. One can only dream. I mean, my shoes don't go with it, but it's better than what I was wearing. Is it though? Not really. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to I'm going to go into my house and make some furniture to go with the pizza oven just so it doesn't look ridiculous on its own. So I've just remembered that I can't get all of the recipes I want because this thing is still a tent and it hasn't been upgraded so I'm gonna to have to wait. Yay! But I have made some things. So I think I'm going to move these forward or just to the left, put it right here, and this one I'll move here. The little dog next door downstairs is really angry. <laughs> a bit angry. So I've just realized I haven't actually searched for the message in the bottle. So I'm gonna do that now. And also I realize I haven't looked for sea creatures. So maybe I should do that today.
So yeah, I'm not seeing the message in a bottle. Oh, here it is. I thought maybe I've already picked it up. Oh, that sucks. I love how I'm running holding a letter. As you do. see Renee because I haven't seen her out so maybe she's at home oh yay <laughs> sup Amelia need me for something what you doing what am I doing what am I doing check it out I'm making a spooky candle set this DIY stuff take some major elbow grease so I like to go all in on it. It's worth the effort though. You want to give it a whirl making a spooky candy candy set? I mean yo yo yo. I can show you if you want. Yay! I thought you'd say that. All right here's the recipe. Go study up. Wow she's really handy. She always does do this. Oh make that Oh, to make that recipe, you've got to get your hands on a few pumpkins. Maybe you could try growing some. Actually, I wonder if I could plant some more pumpkins, actually. buy some more pumpkins and have like a second pumpkin garden. I need to go get my watering can. I don't need what wardrobe am I doing? So I've got three of those. I need six pine cones and four acorns to make one of these. Okay. Welcome, welcome. What did you, what do you need today? I want to sell them. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Look at the, all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers and done. I can buy these from you for a total of 5,220 bells. Sound good? Sold. Go create a second pumpkin patch. Oops. So maybe I'll create it over here so these guys have their own sort of pumpkin garden too.
Actually, I realized I didn't need to cut that down. Oh well. You know, I can't be bothered crafting something. I'm gonna go buy another one. So let's go back to the pumpkin patch and continue the journey. Does that mean I have to water these tomorrow too? I should probably check. Because it's... I just don't know. Okay, according to GameH.co, I'm not quite sure how accurate this is. It says if you water your crops daily, you can get a maximum of three vegetables to grow in one plant. So it says you can get... And it says maximum. So it's not guaranteed, so we'll soon find out whether I've just wasted my time. Because I've never actually watered them, the note, they just grow. So. Also, last night I found a goldfish in this pond, so I now have a pet. But I need one to donate to the museum. Hmm. Turned around. And I was too stupid to notice. new. I look so surprised. And that one looks big. I wonder if that's new too. So, oops. thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I know nothing overly exciting happened today and there was nothing really do to do today to advance my island onto the next level. So, I think from now on I just have to wait for resident services to renovate for Isabel to come for me to start helping Tom look stalk KK Slider so I can get three stars because <laughs> honestly that's how it feels like he has his address it's just 
no, he has his phone number. He's like, you know, he's probably got, he's probably like a leader of a KK slider forum online and there's like a group of people who are fans as well, probably. That's enough about my Tom Nook conspiracies. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode, which will be another Let's Play Animal Crossing, and it will be day six. I think tomorrow I will try diving for sea creatures, if I remember. Anyway. And remember to give the video a thumbs up. Bye! I mean, I said bye three times now. Actually, I just found my first hybrid flower. Yay! That's exciting and it's an orange one. Looks pretty cute.